Yeshayahu, Isaiah 30. Woe to the rebellious children, says Yahuwah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my ruach, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Mitzrayim, and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Mitzrayim. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Mitzrayim your confusion. For his princes were at Soan, and his ambassadors came to Chanek. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit, but a shame, and also a reproach, the burden of the beasts of the Negev, into the land of trouble and anguish, from whence come the young and old lion, the viper and fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses, and their treasures upon the bunches of camels, to a people that shall not profit them. For the Mitzrim shall help in vain, and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. Now therefore, rather now, go write it before them in a table, and note it in a sefer, that it may be for the time to come, forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the Torah of Yahuwah, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, Prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Yashadael to cease from before us. Wherefore thus says eth the Holy One of Yashadael, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shred to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, the Holy One of Yashadael, In returning and rest shall ye be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. But ye said, No, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall ye flee. And we will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one. At the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, and as an ensign on a hill. And therefore will Yahuwah wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For Yahuwah is an Elohai of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Sion at Yerushalayim. You shall weep no more. He will be very gracious unto you at the voice of your cry, when he shall hear it. He will answer you. And though Adonai give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not your teachers be removed into a corner any more. But your eyes shall see at your teachers. 
and your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Ye shall defile also eth the covering of your graven images of silver, and eth the ornament of your molten images of gold. You shall cast them away as a menstruous cloth. You shall say unto it, Go you hence. Then shall he give the rain of your seed, that you shall sow eth the ground withal, and bread of the increase of the earth, and it shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall your cattle feed in large pastures. The oxen likewise and the young asses that hear, rather that ear the ground, shall eat clean provender, which has been winnowed with the shovel and with the fan. And there shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill rivers and streams of water in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days in the day that Yahuwah binds up at the breach of his people and heals the stroke of their wound. Behold, the name of Yahuwah comes from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire, and his breath as an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck to sift the nations with the sieve of vanity, and there shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people, causing them to err. Ye shall have a song as in the night when a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart, as when one goes with a pipe to come into the mountain of Yahuwah, to the mighty one of Yashara'el. And Yahuwah shall cause at his glorious voice to be heard, and shall show the lightning down of his arm, rather the lighting down of his arm, with the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of a devouring fire, with scattering and tempest and hailstones. For through the voice of Yahuwah shall Ashur be beaten down, which smote with a rod. And in every place where the grounded staff shall pass, which Yahuwah shall lay upon him, it shall be with tabrets and harps, and in battles of shaking will he fight with it. For Topheth is ordained of old. Yea, for the king it is prepared. He has made it deep and large. The pile thereof is fire and much wood. The breath of Yahuwah, like a stream of brimstone, kindles it. <laughs>